Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to do a, a, an example where the, the population is now equal to a thousand. We still have a two-state system, so we still are going to have a distribution curve that shows us the number of microstates that this population can be in. It can be either in state one and state two, where n1 and n2 represent the number in each of the two states. Of course, the maximum number of microstates will be achieved when we have 500 in each state. So when n1 equals 500 and n2 equals 500, we have the maximum number of microstates. We also want to see how many microstates we have when we deviate by 10%. So we may have either 550 in one state and 450 in the other, or vice versa, we'll then be able to compare the number of microstates when we're 10% off the maximum, and we can see how high this column will be and how narrow the column will be relative to conditions or populations that are much smaller in size. 1,000 factorial and 500 factorial, you definitely cannot do that in your calculator. We'll have to use Stirling's approximation. And since the numbers now are quite large, the error, the uncertainty in Stirling's, uh, Stirling's approximation will be very small, so we should not expect a, a, a sizable uncertainty in the calculations. So let's go ahead and try that. So we know that 1,000 factorial will be equal to 10 to the x power where x is going to be equal to 0 0.4343, oh, that's not a very good looking 3, there we go, times uh, Stirling's approximation, which would be, that would be 1,000, times the natural log of 1,000 minus 1,000 plus 1. All right, so let's find out what 10 to the x will be for 1,000 factorial, and of course that we need a calculator for. So take 1,000, take the natural log of that, multiply it times 1,000, and subtract from that 999. And multiply that times 0.4343, and that gives us 256.6, I believe. And let me put on my glasses to make sure I know where that decimal point is. Ah, I'm glad I did put on my glasses because it turns out that this will be equal to 10 raised to the 2,000. 566th power. So that's an incredibly large number. I'll put 0.2 just in case we need to find an accurate value there. All right, let's now do the same for 500 factorial. So for 500 factorial, that is equal to 10 raised to the x power, where x is going to be equal to 0 0.4343 times the what we call the Stirling's approximation. That would be 500 times the natural log of 500 minus 500 plus 1. And so that will be equal to 10 raised to the exponent that we'll get on our calculator. So that becomes 500, take the natural log of that, times 500 minus 499, and then multiply that times 0.4343, and I get 10 to the 1,132.8 power. 1,132.8 power. All right, so now we can go ahead and evaluate that. So the maximum number of microstates is going to be equal to 10 raised to the 2,566.2 power divided by 10 raised to the 1,132.8 power times 10, 10 to the 1132.8 power. That's a 2 right there. All right, and let's go ahead and do that. That would be equal to 10 raised to the 2,566.2 minus 1132.8 minus 1132.8. All right, so evaluate that on the calculator. We get 2566.2 minus 1132.8 minus 1132.8 equals, so that gives us the maximum number of microstates is equal to 10 raised to the 300.6 power. All right, again, that's of course an astronomical big number. If you have a thousand coins and you, f you throw them up and they come down, you have 10 to the 300.6 power different kinds of ways in which those pennies can come down or whatever coins it is that you're using. And so you can see that the number of microstates is just absolutely astronomical. But how quickly do they drop off? You will see that if you put in numbers such as N1 being 499 or N1 being 498 or 497, you can see that the number would be virtually the same 
for those values, but eventually it begins to drop off. You find that the top will have a slope very close to zero for a while, but then all of a sudden it begins a very sharp drop off, which means that the probability that the numbers are close to each other, close to 500, is very, very high. But what will be the probability that the numbers will be 450 or heads and 550 or tails or the other way around? You'll see the probability begins to drop off rather dramatically. So what we need to do now is find out what 450 factorial is and 550 factorial and again compare that to this number right here. So 450 factorial will be equal to 10 raised to the x power where x is going to be equal to 0 0.4343 times 450 times the natural log of 450 minus 450 plus 1. And the same thing for 550 factorial. That would be 10 to the x power where x is going to be 0 0.4343 times 550 times the natural log of 550 minus 550 plus 1. So let's find out what those two values are. So first with 450, we take 450, take the natural log of that, times 450, minus, that would be 449. And multiply that times 0.4343 equals, and we get 998.96 uh, with one decimal place, let's call it 999. So it would be uh, 10 to the 999.0 power. Now doing this again for, so that would be equal to that. So now let's find x when we take 550 factorial. So we go 550 times the natural log times 550 minus 549 times 0.4343 equals, and there the exponent becomes 10 raised to the 1,268.8 power. All right. So 4n1 equals, let's say, 450, which is 10% away from 500. So what will be the number of microstates in that case? Well, the number of microstates will be equal to 10 raised to the, that would be still 2,566.2 power, divided by 10 raised to the 999.0 power times 10 raised to the 1,268.8 power. And let's see what we get in that case. So this would be equal to 10 raised to the 2566.2 minus 999.0 minus 1,268.8. All right. So we have 2566.2 minus 999 and minus 1,268.8 equals. And there we have 10 raised to the 298.4 power. Now you may say, wow, that's still an enormously large number, and yes it is, it is indeed, not as large as this. You say, well, really does it make any difference? Well, let's do a ratio. Let's compare the number of microstates when n1 is 450 compared to the number of microstates when n1 is 500. This is, of course, the highest probability condition. So let's compare the two. So this divided by this max where in this case n1 is equal to 450, and of course there n1 is equal to 500. So what's that ratio? Well, we have 10 raised to the 298.4 divided by 10 raised to the 300.6. Let's see what that ratio is. So we have 10 raised to the 298.4 minus 300.6. N that is equal to 0 0.0063, which is equal to 0.63%. So you can see that if you're 10% away from the ideal value, or the most probable value, I should say, where you have the same number in each state, 500 in each state, and then you have a situation where you have 450 in one state and 550 in another state, the probability of that happening is equal to 0.63% of the probability of getting that maximum value, the max number of microstates. So the probability that you'll have 450 heads and 550 tails is 0.63% of the probability that you get 500 and 500. And that's what that really means. And that's how we interpret that. Interesting, interesting information, isn't it? And that's what we call, what we call statistical thermodynamics. And this is only for the two-state system, 
later on we'll use the two-state system or a multi-state system where we have energy involved and multi-state system where we don't have energy involved and then we'll also have to look at the state system where we compare that to the what we call the entropy of the system and there's a relationship between that and we'll see what that looks like in the future videos.